Now also, we have another big bit of news, and that is a patch has come out in the world of Warcraft. You guys might not know this, but the Alliance has become an endangered species. A lot of times, people would go in, and they would want to make a group for something, and it wouldn't matter because they were playing Alliance. And you know what that would mean? That they wouldn't be able to do shit. Well, guess what, gentlemen? That's over. Blizzard has allowed you to play cross-faction. I'm gonna log on, I'm gonna try it out. Ugh. Ugh, social co- Blech. I don't know, guys. I'm about, to, I'm about to throw up in my mouth just looking at that. Oh my god. What happens if I click it? Is this actually gonna close the game? It actually, yes. Let me see if I it actually it, closes I, the game. Last no, time it did! It, yeah. It closed the game! It does not let you play unless you click accept. It's pathetic. Oh my god! It's a fucking contract. I gotta, I gotta sign a contract to play the game now, guys. I think that people are just probably pissed off because like Blizzard hasn't really moderated their game in the past, and now they want players to sign a contract. It's like, bitch, we already signed a contract. We did that whenever we fucking we agreed to the EULA, where the same rules are in there. Making us say it again just to make yourself feel good. Come on, man. Yo, that means cross-faction transmog comps? Yeah. So we're gonna have a cross-faction transmog comp. We're gonna have like Alliance versus Horde to see who has the better transmogs, and we'll call it Race Wars. I think that's a good idea, and uh, we'll probably do that in the next few days. I'm excited. It'll be the first Alliance versus Horde transmog. Yeah, it's a new shit. Yeah, who's excited? <laughs> who's excited, guys? All right, so Lord on Quest, that's nice. I'm glad that they're just adding in more just like random questing content. I think that's a great thing. So What's going on? What? What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how this shit works. You're logged into WoW? I am. I logged into oh WoW. Oh my god! What, dude? Oh my god, you're logged into WoW on your main stream. I, can't I know. It. Can you believe that? On your main stream? Are you kidding me? Asmon Gold. Are, are you sure you test. want to do this? Just be careful. I just want to make sure that you're... You're 100% okay with playing WoW on your main channel. Let's, I mean, it's been here so we go. long. It's been so many years. I sure you know. has. Gosh, I'm so I'm so worried. What if your audience doesn't receive WoW very well, dude? Even though that's what you've been playing for like fucking six years on stream. True. Huh? True. Okay, so so how do I know if it's cross faction or not? <sighs> yeah, how do right. I know? Uh. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh. Yeah, how do I know? Let, let me go back and it says? Where does it say? I don't, I don't see it anywhere here. Everyone will just be Horde. Okay. Um... Wait, somebody says cross-faction doesn't work in custom group finder. What? What? What, what do you mean it doesn't work in custom group finder? The fuck? Are you kidding me? Uh, regular group finder is an alliance only? Make a group for a raid. Okay, alright, let me, uh, delist us then. Okay, raid shadow legend, start a group. Okay, um, test. Asmon gold, test. Okay, sepulcher of the first one's heroic, let's just say. Standard. Oh, this is really nice. They have different things here. That's smart. Okay, limit to alliance. Okay, this is the racism option. We're not gonna use this. And we're going to do minimum item level is going to be uh, 200, okay? Let me see how many people I would be able to make a group with now that Horde is available. Okay, I'm going to do 260 just to see what it's like. All right, everybody queue up if you're Horde or, or Alliance. They're done. Oh, say what? Oh, they're done? Yep. They're okay, done. give me one second. I'm going to mute. Uh, we had to cut down a lot of trees in uh, in my, my yard. I'm, I feel kind of sad because we lost a lot of the old ones that were, like, nostalgic, but they were basically just fucking hazards, so we had to get rid of them, man. Uh, all pre-made groups by, are, by default are cross-faction with the option to turn on racism mode. The only thing not cross-faction is open-world content and random group finder. Oh, really? Okay, so there's this many people? Wait, what? Dude, there's Look a, at there's this. A I know, there's a thread on the, um... Oh my god, on, I... on, on WoW Reddit, of a guy who put in... No, he's Horde, right? And he put in no alliance in his title. Yeah. And he got reported for it so much, he got fucking muted. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he gets. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Yeah, that's fucking right. Uh, plant, look at this. Almost two, 200 people. 200 fucking people queued up for this. 
Whenever I did this the other day, I got like 30. Yeah, I got like 30 people. Alliance has just been fucking dead. And now we rise again. We can actually play with other people. Okay, all right, let's do this. So we had 200 people queue up. I'm gonna delist us and I'm gonna requeue us. Asmon Gold Alliance test. Now, let's see how many people join. Alliance, only alliance. alliance test only. Thirty, forty people, fifty people maybe. Wow, I am so glad they did this. I'm gonna be honest. I am so fucking glad they did this because I've been waiting on this to happen for such a long time. By the way, I played the, the whole day Diablo Immortal on my tablet. It's fucking awesome, bro. Diablo Immortal is lit. He's a shill. Yeah, sure. Really? It's, it's Bobby. Lit, huh? Yeah, that's what he it's said. Lit? It's lit? Yeah. They're saying it's lit? Yeah. Uh, check, check Discord, dude. Okay. <laughs> it's lit. I honestly don't even want to show you this. No, no, like, go ahead. I, I honestly don't even want to show you no, guys I, this. I, I insist I, I, you I, show I will. All right, here we go. In the video game, Diablo Immortal, the reward for completing a dungeon is the opportunity to spend money. You've completed the Mad King's Breach and now have access to a one-time purchase. One time only, boys. It's only you get it now or it's gone forever. The value? Think about the value that you get out of this. You'd be losing money if you didn't buy it. Includes eternal orbs, legendary, and rare crests, and normal gems. There's only one left, guys. If you don't buy it, it's only one dollar. Sadly, uh, it's this way because it works and people spend money. If they didn't, they change the way they sell their games. Actually, it only works because it's legal. If it was illegal, it wouldn't exist. So you've got to keep that in mind. Yeah, if they change this, they could just simply make it illegal, and that would be over. Yeah, that would be that would be totally it. You can't afford. Yeah, you can't afford to not spend money on Diablo. It's all about getting their foot. That's right. As soon as they get, see the reason why this is less than a dollar, bro. Like, if you can't afford ninety nine cents, come on, man. You gotta be doing different things with your life than playing video games. You're a loser if you can't buy this. Is what I'm saying, right? I mean, obviously that's what I mean. It's five hundred and seventy percent value. This is something like that Corey. There's a sorry that Cody guy. It would be selling on Instagram, man. Yeah, you a loser if you don't spend real money on this video game, man. Come on. And so this is the thing. I will buy this. I, I will buy all of these. Oh. No, because it... Did you remember? Did you hear my Jesus analogy? No. Okay. So anyway, I'm Jesus, right? You could have assumed that. And so uh, the way it works is... You know how Jesus went and he died for the sins of others. And the way that I look at it, he had to walk through the desert without water for like 40 days. And I'm going to walk through this desert and I'm going to let people see what it's truly like. And he did that for his people. You see what I'm saying? That's what You're I'm doing. You're not walking through a fucking desert. You're not sacrificing anything. You're not... You don't lose anything. You you stand to gain by doing it. Of course, by providing that's why entertainment. I'm doing it. There's nothing you lose. You know who's actually gonna lose? The people who see you playing this shit and they're like, oh my god, this looks like so much fucking fun. And then they get tricked into doing it because you're having fun doing it because you can afford to lose all that shit. Uh -huh. And guess what? Your viewers can't. So they're gonna get tricked. Uh -huh. 28 people, I guarantee you, in fucking suits. So I'm going to ruin 28 people's lives? 
No, no, I'm. I'm I, I wasn't done with. I wasn't done with the. Go rant, ahead. Okay? okay. Listen, twenty-eight people. Okay, in suits with fucking uh, folders and documents, sat around a fucking table at Blizzard discussing the psychological e effects of getting people hooked and how to get people hooked on fucking games like this Trope. and mobile addiction, shit like that, Trope. okay? And fucking psychiatrists and psychologists came in Trope. and said, if you do this, doing this this way, you can get your fucking, your your people addicted to the uh -huh. game Trope. and gambling and buying the shit, Trope. the shit that they don't need if you do this simple tactic, okay? And then you broadcast mm -hmm. it to your fucking viewers and then your viewers buy into it. It's the opposite. It's the same thing as Lost Ark. There were a lot of people that saw me spend a bunch of money on Lost Ark and they thought to themselves, wait a minute, I don't know if I want to play this anymore. I'm going to double think this. Uh, I I'm going to second guess this. So you know what? I think it's actually a service to my viewers because if I do this and I walk through the valley of the shadow of death in microtransactions, I will be taking that risk and showing everybody what it is truly like. You don't, dude. You don't take a risk. There's, you're not risking. Oh no, no, anything. you're right. You're right. You're right. No, it's just. You for are content. not Jesus, okay? Don't fucking don't. I, I never want to hear that come out of your fucking mouth again. You are not Jesus, okay? Well, I don't know. Man. You're not. But then, how does the analogy fit so well? It doesn't. I, I literally just explained why it doesn't. No, because I'm you're, doing you're it so they don't have to. You, you are rationalizing showing off mobile addiction mm -hmm. okay mobile gaming yes. addiction to your viewers yes that's my opinion i think that it's better if i do it and i show people what it's really like and how much money it actually costs and i have a fucking amount up at the top and it shows how much money i've spent and it's contextualized around that i think if i do all that people won't get it twisted I mean, do what you want, dude. I'm just telling you how I feel. This yeah, my, yeah, and this, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, whatever. You can say I'm doing it for Reddit, Karma. I don't give a fuck, okay? I didn't this, say that. I, yeah, but you did fucking three years ago, four years ago when you were playing Diaz, uh, fucking oh, yeah, Dark Souls 3, yeah, and you said that, and I'll never forget it, okay? Yeah, I remember that. But this is my real opinion, okay? Uh-huh. Bitch. I, I think it's better to show people what it's really like rather than just let people not know. Yeah, that's my honest opinion. I think it's better to show people what it's truly like. And give them the actual honest opinion, you know that that's that's real information. And uh, yeah, that that's that's what my opinion is. Check Diablo Immortal review on mobile. Um, I will look at all the Diablo Immortal reviews tomorrow. I don't want to look at those today because I don't feel like it. Uh, that's it. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. You're against gambling, but gamble. See, the thing is, is it's not a gamble. It's because I know I'm gonna lose my money. Yeah, so Asmon Jesus won 53%. So I'm just saying. That's so the what? same as Those the are probably fucking the same atheists that post on fucking Reddit say, talking about a magical sky daddies and shit. Like, who yeah, gives a fuck sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, want to accelerate pay to win legislation? I do. I want people, in my opinion, I think that the only way that we can stop pay to win is to accelerate as much as possible and make it so blatantly horrible that people hate it so much that there are laws passed against it like there was in Netherlands and Belgium with anti-gambling laws that are put into video games. I think that's the solution because the idea of us ignoring it hasn't been working, man. It hasn't, and you know that. It hasn't been working. And I think it's time for a new, different, better solution. That's what it is. I'm just trying to avoid Final Fantasy. Hey, two birds with one stone, man. There it is. Two birds with one stone. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Give me the mount. Give me the mount. Give me the mount. Come on, mount, please. Oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, like, I hate this game. So stupid. Like, why is this? Why is it never drop? One more. All right. Yeah, I do one more. I do one. Yeah, let's do one more. Like, I get, I get the next one hundred percent. Like, I'm not even worried about it. I, I get the next one hundred percent. Uh, let me see this here. Um, truth be told, games will never go fully pay to win because indies like Vampire Stars always exist. Now that making games is so easy, I, I think so. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, absolutely, don't get it twisted. Aware? No, I think so. 
Um, I, I think people can watch me do it and I can br spread awareness to it and show how it works. It's kind of like here. It, it's like this is showing kids that it's easy, showing people that it's easy to make an account on steak, even if you're underage, the same as promoting steak. I would say it's not. Uh, I, I don't think that it is because you're showing it in a different light. That's what it is. Please get it twisted. Rebuild your life. You will become a billionaire. You're not a strong character game, rationalized pay to win. I don't really get, to be honest, I don't really give a fuck about the game. Like, that's the real truth. Like, I don't really give a fuck. I'm just doing it for content. So if it's good content, I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to worry about that one bit at all. Like, yeah, it's... Yeah. Like, oh shit, Jibu, re-invite me, man. Sorry, I don't know why I declined. I thought that was somebody else. Oh, actually, wait a second, real quick. Jibu, you can make the group. Uh, let me let me deep dick Famu real quick. Uh, I'm gonna get Famu, get this mount. I wonder how, how Johnny Depp's partying right now? I think he's chilling, man. He's doing just fine. Get it twisted. You will win. You will rebuild your life. Bro, has there ever been a... Wait, I got declined for Famu. What? I got declined for Famu? Are you kidding me? This guy's got to invite me, right? Okay, good. I, I was about to say, like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was so dumb. Welcome to Horde side. No, you can't do outdoor content, gr uh, group content. Uh-uh, you can't. So I want to say a lot of y'all now, because you can do uh, cross-realm stuff, or sorry, cross-faction stuff, are thinking about making uh, joining a guild. My guild has 30 people online right now. We have a very active guild with a lot of people that play, and most of the people in the guild aren't stupid. And if you guys are looking for a guild, join Indestructible. It's a great guild with a lot of people. I will say that. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing. Uh, we care about wild animal slavery? Nah, -uh, man. He's doing just fine. Uh, what, what you showed, Lost Ark game, uh, wasn't the, uh, the game, though. You got hella good takes. You give bad reps at the game without having people try it. Uh, what bad rep did I give to Lost Ark that was, in, that was inaccurate? What did I say about Lost Ark that was inaccurate at all? What, what, what did I say? Like, I, I want to say, like, because I, nothing I said was inaccurate. I love Lost Ark. I play it all the time. The games pay to win. So is WoW. That's it. You can still win free to play. So what? Here, here's my definition of pay to win. Is that if you can advance in-game progression with real money. Period. If you can spend real money to advance end game progression in pretty much any way it's pay to win so let me give some examples buying a wow token to buy a carry buying a wow token to buy a boe buying a level boost is not because it's not end game buying a uh buying any uh, fucking gold in lost ark buying anything basically in lost ark it's not like a slot streamer yeah that's what it is well, what's this here? Uh, I play uh, for you, so you don't have to play. Just shut the fuck up. You flame slots all the time. It's the same with pay-to-win games. Oh, oh, you mean like it's the same as slots? Yeah, I mean, if you think Diablo Immortal or like pay-to-win games are the same as slots, like, I mean, I'm not going to argue with you, right? Like, I just think it's dumb, and so like, I'm not going to try to like fight that. Okay, I didn't get it. Fucking stupid-ass game, man. A boost is still pay-to-win, too. You're progressing faster. Everybody has their own definition of pay to win. I think that pay to win only really matters at the beginning, or sorry, at the beginning of end game. I think the game really matters at end game, and everything besides that doesn't really make a difference to me. I don't care if you can pay to win to level boost. It doesn't really matter to me. Do I think it's stupid? Yeah. Do I do it? Yeah. So that's about it. Yeah, it shouldn't exist, but I don't think it's the same thing. Everybody has a definition that's different with pay to win. Like, some people think pay to win is like you can only pay to win if you can get something that's exclusive to people that spend real money. Some people think pay to win is anything that you can do is spend money on. Some people think cosmetics are pay to win. There's not a lot of people that think that, but some people do. And so, uh, in my opinion, that's where I rank pay to win. Um, every single MMO is pay to win from that definition, and that's true. Final Fantasy and New World are not pay to win. World of Warcraft and Lost Ark are pay to win. That's the facts. I don't know about RuneScape, but I think RuneScape you can also buy gold, which is pay to win. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm not talking about FPS games, I'm talking about MMOs. 
Yeah, well, let's see. Is uh, I would say, well, let me, so is there anybody that disagrees with this? It's not facts, it's your definition? Well, yeah, but my definition's right and everybody else's definition's stupid and wrong. So it, it is it is my definition, but my definition is what the truth is. So, I mean, like, you, you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm obviously right about this. Everybody knows it. So why would I even I indulge the opposite? Yeah, I'm obviously right. Let me see here. Uh, just look at what your time's worth. Pay to level or taking the time to level is no difference. Uh, wh what do you mean? You can buy gold for any game from third-party gold with selling websites. So every game's pay to win then? Nope. Uh, that's not what I said. And uh, if you have to break the TOS, I think that if you don't, if you can do something inside of the TOS, anything is pay to win. League of Legends is pay to win because you can buy a carried challenger. That doesn't matter. Yeah, it's what is acceptable and allowed inside of the rules of the game. Uh, yeah, that's what I would say. Uh, no, nah, paying, uh, paying a while doesn't put you ahead of free-to-play players and Lost Ark at 100% does? Well, if it, doesn't pay, if it doesn't put you ahead of free-to-play players, then why do all the top-end guilds spend hundreds of millions of gold? What, why do they do that? Yeah, it, it's that stupid. Well, I mean, it's that simple. It's like, you gotta be stupid to not see that. Yeah, I mean, come on. Uh, how's Lost Ark pay to win if you don't even win? Because you have a better chance at winning. Like, I mean, it's obvious. Wouldn't it just be easier to exclude anything that's not uh, buy to play? Nope. Uh, I think my definition is perfect. I think everybody else's definition should be my definition. That's where I'm at. Yep. Uh, I didn't mean you said something about Lost Ark. You're absolutely right. Only people that legitimately saw you rage on the 1490 as if that was the game. Well, what, what? Because so I play the game a certain way on my stream that like somehow that's my fault. I have a bad take because I play the game a certain way on my stream. Nope, I don't believe that. Uh, let's make sure we got everybody in here. Summon Dylan. This is Dylan. It's show me your dick, Dylan. Summon Dylan in here. I swear to God, Dylan, if you get this mount, I'm gonna kick you out the guild. Yep, summon Dylan. Let, let's go. Get this shit done. Get everybody in there. And uh, what's this here? Final Fantasy 14 boost. Also give 500k gil. Yeah, I mean, that definitely muddies the water. But, like, again, I think that... I would even argue that, like, in some ways, at the beginning of the season, WoW is more pay to win than Lost Ark is. Because you can buy gear that you can use in rated PvP. I, I mean, like, if that's not pay to win, then what's pay to win? 500k is nothing? Yeah, but, like, I, I was, yeah, it's just like, whatever. All right, that's fine. Pay to win's a thing because people keep defending it. All I'm saying is that pay to win is always going to be a thing. It will always be a thing, but the one thing that we can fight on is things like this. Fucking Mad King's Breach Trove. Ugh. 570% extra value. Who's excited? Oh boy. Yeah, there we go. Gear drops and two hours of farm. Yeah, there it is. There's always be people willing to pay. Well, it's also like... It's really, like, the thing that I think is bad is the gambling element. Like, I don't really give a fuck about if a game is pay to win. I think a game has got a, it's got a right to be pay to win. You've got a right to be able to make a game the way that you want to make a game. But the difference to me is whenever you have the gambling elements. I'm not a fan of the gambling elements. And I wish that it was illegal. Because until they make it illegal, it's going to continue. Because... The, the reason why they do it is because it makes a lot of fucking money, man. It's not like they're just goofing around and they don't know that. No, they, they know it makes a lot of money. That's why they do it. That's the whole reason, man. Definition is pretty clear to uh, Urban Dictionaries. No, I'm 100% right. Yeah, I'm 100% right. You have the gear, but can you clear Mythic or be good at PvP by yourself? Um, If you can buy the gear you have a better chance of doing that. And if you put up two people of equal skill and one of them spent $200 on WoW tokens to buy Mythic BOEs and the other one didn't, and both of them are of equal skill levels, the person that bought the BOEs will win. They will outperform the other person who did not. 
just because you can overcome pay to win by playing like a fucking uh, like you're in a sweatshop that does not mean it's not pay to win here we go watch this <laughs> oh boy oh, oh my, my god, god boy. bro come boy, on boy got it oh boy Boy, oh, fucking got it! Oh, this is so stupid. My boy, Lloyd. He can't trade it, man. He can't trade it. Just don't worry about it. My boy. He can't trade it. You don't have to be. Can nice. we see it? All right, yeah, Lloyd. Let's see it, bro. Let's see. Wow, it. there it is. Way to go, Lloyd. Good job, bro. That's my boy. Good job. I'm happy for you. I would have been happy for happier for myself, but I guess this is a good. This is a good situation, maybe. It's a good outcome. Yeah, it's a good outcome. It's fine.